Is there a motion on the consent calendar? Move the consent calendar. Uh, I'd like to remove item D. Second. Okay, without exception, the action recaps are passed. D, Dick? Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't disagree with this idea. I guess I'm just uh, concerned about, given, given the struggle that we had, where this extra money comes from. Well, this comes from um, uh, the 80 percent monies of the redevelopment agency. So uh, it's not the affordable housing monies, and it does potentially compete somewhat with um, resources that you could use for the capital improvement program. Yeah. But that's why the uh, committee put a limit of $20,000 on the recommendation. That was from the Community Preservation Committee. So, right. you know, $60,000 if if uh, you know, that was your total obligation in a particular fiscal year probably wouldn't have a lot of impact on your CIP discussion. All right. But I mean, part, part of why I'm raising this is because it's it certainly, given the fact that we do have a lot of, you know, these kinds of communities in, in Emeryville, is we're, we're opening the door. Uh, and I could just say, for example, at Watergate, I mean, last winter they had a section of that stucco fence blow <coughs> down, and they're going to be refencing. Um, the the whole Powell Street side, so the same uh, the same arguments that are being made here, for for Emory Bay could be made for Watergate, and is that a path that we really want to go down? I mean, you know, because if it's if it's good for them and the neighborhood, why isn't it why isn't it going to be good at Watergate to help to help them finance? They're not in the redevelopment. Emory Bay Village is a low income project. If that makes they're, any they're difference. They're not in a redevelopment area. Ah. But we and did have, have that it. size. <laughs> we did have that size of project in mind, though, when we discussed the cap. Okay. For that very reason, yeah. didn't didn't think about the redevelopment of Okay. Uh, before we move along on this, uh, I just want to give some real credit to Patrick and his Community Preservation Task Force, because this is where this idea developed. Mainly, it was addressing, you know, it grew out of the take back the concrete in the front yard thing, but also an attempt to get rid of the chain link fences in Emeryville, which certainly drag down the look of the community. So it's a, oh. an effort that has been very successful, just, you know, goes along very quietly. But uh, we're replacing those chain link fences, and you can see the difference. Okay, I'd I, move I, approval. Second. Um, for Mike or Carol, I guess I just have a quick question for you. Um, I'm no longer a homeowner in that particular project, but because I had a history, do I have a conflict of interest? No, you have no financial interest in that. Okay, great. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. No public hearings, no policy.